Hello, fire engineers. Welcome to the training course of fire alarm system provided by the platform of fire engineering. And with me, Mohammed Al Hamad. In this course, we'll be covering the fire alarm system design, installation, and other important tips for you guys to know more about the fire alarm system. So, if, if you are a professional fire engineer or new to the field, this course is really important for you. As we are going to cover a lot of topics in the fire alarm system, it may enhance your knowledge of the fire engineering. And most importantly, if you are a beginner in the field, this fire alarm system training course is suit for you. In this course, we'll be covering a lot of topics, starting by the introduction of the fire alarm system, importance of the fire alarm system, the main components of the fire alarm, then start covering each component of the fire alarm. So in this course, we'll be covering as well design aspects, installation aspects, and we'll have a look into the UE Fire Life Safety Code and review it. Most importantly, we'll take, take a project and we'll try to design the fire alarm system based on our course. So stay tuned, you'll get a lot to know by end of this course. So today is lecture one and starting by why the fire alarm systems necessary and important. It's provide early detection of fire and intensifier equipment. So by having a smoke detectors, heat detectors, and other fire alarm system initiating devices, we'll get to detect the fire in the early stages of a possible fire and protecting the occupants from injury and fire as well. The sounders will allow people to get to know about the fire in the early stage and will have a chance to early evacuate as well the building in case of a fire. Second, it's following the UAE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice and Regulation of Civil Defense as well as the international standards of the fire alarm. So this course will be focusing more on the UAE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice 2018 Chapter 8 which is related to the fire alarm system and as well we we'll look into the NFBA 72 which covering as well the fire alarm detection system so uh, uh, following the regulation we, are, we have to provide a fire alarm system as well when we have the fire alarm system we'll be able to notify the fire department automatically by interfacing the fire alarm system with a 24 by 7 or as known in the UAE as Hassantuk connection with the civil defense so lastly the civil defense as well applying a penalty on the buildings which not complying to the civil defense regu regulations. So this is as well important for all occupants, for all owners to provide a fire alarm system in their property. Moving now to the major causes of home fires. So in any home, guys, we all, we all living in homes and we should know this important information before we start designing the fire alarm system. What is the most reason or the most causes for the home fires? Half of all residential fires are caused by cooking fires so the cooking fires guys is the most frequent types of home fires that that's meaning we should concentrate always on the kitchen by providing the heat detector the suitable fire extinguisher type as well as the other protection if it's required depending on the hazard occupation and other regulation by the civil defense and second is the electrical malfunctions and caused by like short circuits or loose connections Third is the fires related to smoke. So it's um, it's a result of careless smoking behaviors is one of the most common causes of home fire. So please have attention to that as well as for related the heating equipment malfunctions like the heaters which ma ma might catch fire as well. This course is sponsored by Kiwi Gift Store. Kiwi Gift Store is an online gift shop on Instagram provide unique gifts as personalized and customized memories in a framed photo collage. Kiwi Gift Store, where every gift tells a story. Place your order. Use discount code of Mohammed20 and benefit from 20% discount for the platform of fire engineering followers. Starting by the fire alarm system training course, guys, the addressable fire alarm system. For sure, you have heard about the addressable fire alarm system as well as the conventional type of fire alarm detection. Now, what is the addressable system? The addressable system in which input and output devices have a unique address that can be read, recognized, and controlled by the control panel. So each device, guys, it have an address, which now I think if you are in the field, you know that. So in the panel, the address will be known in case of a fire. That means it's called addressable fire alarm system. Now, what is the required or what is the regulation for the addressable fire alarm system in the UAE? So is it mandatory or we can use the conventional type? Firstly, only listed. 
by UL, FM, and other other, other uh, uh, certification uh, parties, and approved addressable as well. So only listed and approved addressable fire detection and alarm system shall be provided in all new constructions. So any new building in the country. After the UE Fire Life Safety Code is uh, releasing 2018, all new constructions shall be provided with the addressable fire alarm system. And the conventional type are not acceptable, are not acceptable unless it's existing. This is important information, guys. So whenever you have, when you start a design for any fire alarm system, you should use the addressable fire alarm system and conventional type, it's only accepted if the building is existing. Now, before we proceed more in the course, you need to know that this course is based on the UE Fire Life Safety Code 2018, Chapter 8, related to the fire alarm, as well as the NFPA 72, which is as well related to the fire alarm system. So you will find this article in fire alarm, you will find this part as well in the fire alarm chapter, Chapter 8 in the UE Fire Life Safety Code. So where to provide the fire alarm system? Uh, do we need to provide it in schools? Do we need to provide it in hospitals, uh, residential buildings, a, a, a workshop or warehouses? So the answer is every building. Every building in the UAE shall be provided with addressable fire alarm system as per the civil defense regulations. Every building, enclosed structure, enclosed uh, equable spaces, and the building under construction as well. This is important. Temporary offices in the site as well and under, under construction shall be provided with the automatic addressable fire alarm system. I got a lot of a question uh, um, about the same. We have a temporary office and uh, shall, shall we provide it with fire alarm? Yes, shall be provided and shall be provided with the addressable system. Now, wh where we shall install the dictors? Previously, we, we saw that it's provided only in the bedrooms. Right now, the answer, updated as per the Civil Defense Code 2018. All rooms, all areas shall be provided with detector regardless of smoke or heat um, storage area so if the area used and enclosed enclosed by wall ceiling and door then we shall have the smoke detector or or the heat detector or any other suitable type based on the uh, design and we will be covering that in the next lecture so stay tuned for for the for for coming lectures to cover all related topics of of the fire um, before we proceed to the next slide, here there is a note. While we start designing any fire alarm system, there are some, some points we shall keep in our consideration. Uh, the structure features, the shape of the rooms. So this will affect the distances between the smoke detector. Occupancy and uses of areas, ceiling heights as well. The ceiling heights will affect our design in the next videos. Ceiling shape, it's, we'll have a lot of lectures about that. Ventilation, so keeping the smoke detector or the, the, the detector as, as uh, with the, some distance from the, from the um, ventilation source or AC source, as well the other criteria like gas or response time. So before you design the fire alarm system, you need to study the room, the dimension of the room, the criteria of the ceiling, ventilation, and as well the current or the, the ambient environment if there is a dust or other type. So it will lead for correct selection of the detectors and spacing of the distance between devices, which we'll be covering soon in our next videos. So now, Looking into the main components of the fire detection system. The fire detection and alarm system essentially consists of initiating devices. It's important. So this called is the uh, is called as the input of the fire alarm system. So the, the initiating devices, which will be covered soon in the next videos, is about fire detectors, heat, smoke, multi, CO, beam. Um, MCPs as well in the different like black glass, call points, police station modules. So it will provide the signal to the second component, which is the fire alarm controller. The fire alarm controller will receive the signal and using a wires or wireless signal, it will deliver the signal to the notification device. And notification devices, as you know, it can be bell, sounders, flashers, or other audio visual or combined like audio visual fire alarm devices so the third part related to the notification devices the last component as a main component of the fire alarm system is the power supply this panel need a power supply so the primary source is like getting ac current from the building source from the from the building or to have a 
batteries inside the panel or as outside box depend on the size of the panel so we'll have a primary power supply and as well as secondary power supply to provide the fire alarm with the required power to be able to run operate the fire alarm system we will be covering all of these points in the next videos guys so today we reached to the end of lecture uh it's only about introduction to the fire alarm system stay tuned for the next video for sure we'll cover a lot in the coming lectures support the channel like the video thank you so much see you soon